This is English 5, Quarter 1, inferring the meaning of unfamiliar prefixed words. Let us start our lesson by choosing the correct words to complete the sentences. Number 1. Can you blank when we went hiking with Dad? It was so tiresome, yet it was the most remarkable experience I ever had. The answer is recall. Number two. Every driver needs to blank their license every year. The answer is renew. Number three. Vina was ordered to blank her account because it was scammed. The answer is disable. Number four. There is no need for us to blank on this matter. I rest my case. The answer is disagree. Number five. Mr. Chrysostomo marked who wants project blank for it lacked some details. The answer is incomplete. Number six. No one is allowed to play outside. Everyone is advised to stay blank to avoid the spread of the virus. The answer is indoors. Number seven. Mrs. Guzam is 70 years old. She was denied to loan in the bank because of blank. The answer is over age. Number eight. My aunt Monica was upset to see her blank pasta because it became saggy. The answer is overcooked. Number nine. The blank internet connection is so upsetting. The answer is unstable. Number 10. The urban poor believed that there was blank when the demolition team did not give the illegal settlers enough time to find a new place to stay. The answer is injustice. Once again, I am presenting the correct vocabulary from the given activity. The root or the base words are highlighted. Recall. Renew. Disable. Disagree. Incomplete. Indoors. Overage. Overcooked. Unstable. Injustice. As you have noticed, there are some syllables added to the beginning of the words. What are they called? They are called prefixes. What is a prefix? A prefix is a letter or group of letters added at the beginning of a base word. The words injustice, illegal, and overpopulation are prefixed words. Prefix changes the word to form a new word with a different meaning from the original. Let us study this example. The word legal means allowed by the law. If you add the prefix ill, the word changes to illegal, which means not allowed by the law. Let us study the prefixes according to their groups. The first group is prefixes that indicate negation or negative meaning. Adding these prefixes to words indicate negative meaning. For example, the prefix un means not. When added to the base word happy, the new word becomes unhappy with a new meaning not happy. Another prefix here is miss, which means not. When added to the base word lead, the new word is mislead, with a new meaning not leading to the right direction. Another prefix here is dis. It also means not. 
When added to the base word able, the new word becomes disable, with a new meaning not able. In also means not. We can add this to the base word sufficient, and it becomes insufficient, with a new meaning not sufficient. Another prefix here is in. It also means not. When added to the base word patient, it forms a new word impatient with a new meaning not patient. Ill also means not. When added to the word legal, a new word is formed which is illegal with a new meaning not legal. Er is also a prefix that means not. When added to the base word responsible, it becomes irresponsible, which means not responsible. The second group is prefixes that indicate time. Adding these prefixes to words indicate time, which means it happens before or after something or an event. There are two prefixes emphasized here, the pre and the post. Pre means before, while post means after. Example of pre. When added to the base word school, a new word is formed which is preschool, with a new meaning before the child enter primary school. An example of post. When added to the base word operative, it becomes post-operative which means after an operation. The third group we have here is prefixes that emphasize degree. Adding these prefixes to words emphasize degree like how much, more, or less. The prefixes super, over, and out mean more, while sub means under. Example of super added to the word man, it becomes superman, with the meaning a man with more than the qualities of a regular man, with super powers. Over, added to the base word age, it becomes over age, with a new meaning more than the age limit. Out, it also means more, when added to the base word number, it becomes out number with a new meaning more than in number. Sub means under. When added to the base word standard, it becomes substandard with a new meaning under the standard. The fourth group contains other common prefixes that we need to understand. Let us study the prefixes given. The prefix re means again. When added to the base word charge, a new word is formed, which is recharge, with a new meaning to charge again. The prefix X means out or previous. When added to the base word mayor, a new word is formed, which is X mayor, with a new meaning previous mayor. The prefix N means put into. For example, when we add this prefix to the word close, the new word is enclose, with a new meaning to put something around. To check if you remember the prefixes I have discussed, do the following exercises. The first exercise is choose the correct word from the box that corresponds to the given meaning. Number one. A ranking below a class. Number two, to perform better. Number three, very happy. Number four, a very strong woman. Number five, smaller than an atom. Number six, a sudden extreme brightness. Number seven, very confident. Number eight, a sudden expression of a strong feeling. 
Number nine, not having enough workers. And number ten, too young to do something legally. Here are the correct answers to exercise one. Number one, subclass. Number two, outperform. Number three, overjoyed. Number four, superwoman. Five, subatomic. Six, supernova. Seven, overconfident. Eight, outburst. Nine, undermanned. Ten, underage. Exercise two. Write the appropriate prefix to complete the sentence. Choose from the prefixes pre and post. Number one. The doctor instructed the family of the patient to blank approve the operation so that she can contact available doctors to assist her. The answer is pre-approve. Number two. Three of Coco Martin's fans were allowed to watch the blank view of his movie. The answer is preview. Number three. Mother read the blank cautions before using her new electric stove. The answer is precautions. Number four. Teacher Mary gave a blank test to her pupils before she teaches the lesson. The answer is pretest. Number five. Most teachers enroll in blank graduate to update and amplify their knowledge on their chosen profession. The answer is postgraduate. Number six. She received the blank dated check issued as payments of her services. The answer is post dated. Number seven. The blank script he wrote is attached at the last page of the book. The answer is postscript. Number eight. There are a few doctoral degree holders who continue blank doctoral studies. The answer is postdoctoral studies. Now that you are done watching this video, I hope you are ready to answer the activities in your English module about inferring the meaning of unfamiliar prefixed words. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos to come. Thank you.